Welcome again. This is the Liberty Cause. Uh, first, I'd like to invite you to subscribe, like this video, and please share it so we can help to get the word out on corruption. Uh, what we're looking at here is an article regarding Mount Dora and uh, the fact that they have fired their police chief, John O'Grady. And very quickly, I'm going to let you listen to the words of the city attorney herself as to why. The investigation into the complaint against John O'Grady has been completed. As of today, Mr. O'Grady has been released from his position as police chief and public safety director for the city of Mount Dora. The investigation concluded that there was overwhelming evidence of a department fraught with distrust and a lack of respect for O'Grady's leadership. It also concluded that O'Grady engaged in behavior unbecoming of a City of Mount Dora employee. The safety of the citizens of Mount Dora is of utmost importance to the City Council and the City Manager. As such, Acting Chief Robert Bell will continue to serve as the City's Chief of Police until a formal search has concluded. So there you heard it from the Mount Dora City Attorney herself. There were no crimes, there were no felonies. This was just a police chief that had a department that just did not respect him. And he had been doing things, making comments that created a hostile work environment. And, the, you know, the, his staff just didn't want him anymore. And the investigation proved that out. So, I'll, again, I'll leave the link to the article, or you can just simply look up Mount Dora Police Chief fired. You'll find plenty of articles. But the one thing I want to remind everyone is that this woman is still employed. Six felonies charged by FDLE. Does she have the trust of staff? I don't think so. Does she have the trust of the, the people that she is working for? We the people? Absolutely not. Still employed. So you have to ask yourself this question. Why is it that Mount Dora can get it right? And Deltona can't. Thank you again. Please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, we need to get the word out to the 60,000 plus registered voters in Deltona that we need to fill up City Hall and demand better. That either Jane Shang goes or the commission that refuses to fire her is going to have to go.